Hello everyone, uh, Dave from Erie Arachnids here. Um, we have a couple tarantulas that molted yesterday. And then I retrieved the molt from another one, but I couldn't couldn't get it sexed. This one I don't have to um, get the molt. You can see the molt right there. This is the uh, Hapalopus species Columbia Large. Uh, this is the one that's named Cole. And it's a good thing because if you can see right there that's the uh it's tibial hooks so this guy matured out <clears throat> so he's going to go off to a friend in a few weeks um i'm also sending bantu my female uh Terenochilus marinus out that way also um he's going to uh, this one's going to my friend kelly she's the one that sent the Nandu Colorado Velosis male to me. So we'll do a 50 50 uh, if successful with him. And then um, for the Tyran Oculus Marinus, I didn't want babies back because I still have Chaos. And if I ever want to mate, I would mate her. She's the smaller of the two. So <clears throat> he offered to take her and breed and then sell the babies and give me 50% of the money or do a trade. So I, I just decided to do a trade. So I'm getting two uh, two inch Harpactera namaquinensis um, baboons. I, I've never raised those before. Matter of fact, he's the first one that ever produced them here in the United States. So uh, they're for sale a lot of different places now because they were imported like crazy the last few months. But these, these two are two inch. I have no idea um, if he sexed them or not. He, he just offered two of them, and they're they're decent, decent priced spiders. So uh, I think they get. I have to look up the size of those. I'm not sure if those are the larger harpact here or on the smaller end. You know, the four inch end, which I'm kind of hoping that they're the four inch end, but they're probably going to be the six six and a half inch end. But that's okay. So yeah, though probably the end of January, uh, weather permitting. I'll get this stuff out to them and then get those in. Okay, so that's this guy. Okay, guys, here is uh, the other tarantula that molted. Um, <clears throat> not quite sure exactly when. But you could see the greens that came in. It's looking nice. Um, this is a suspected male, but now that I'm eventually looking at it, it looks more female. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, the molt was uh, torn in the abdomen area. This is the uh, Pisletheria rufolata. They, they are outstandingly beautiful creatures. So there's that. Um, like I said, molted a few days back, three, four, maybe five. Um, I would say probably closer to five or six days ago than two or three. But yeah, the molt was right here in the corner, got it out pretty easily. It was actually, it was right there. Um, got it out pretty easily. Um, rehydrated the spider, put water in. And uh, it's been going crazy the last few days, so it, it's going to be ready to eat soon. Um, of course, the enclosure needs cleaned. Just a very, very flighty spider. So, you know, with, with the... With the pokies, I would recommend, you know, if they're going to clean their enclosure, especially in something like this, you need to get them out of there. Get them out, put them in a holding container, clean it, put everything back together again, put it back in again. Um, some of the other ones, like the Avix and stuff like that, I will sponge clean with, you know, water just to try and get the uh, poop stains off the side. Um, and you can see there's, there's a little pulse in there. It needs to be... Remove so this spider's gonna you know, I, I need to let it harden up, but we'll get it out and get it cleaned up um, You know, I may have an extra one of these containers Maybe I'll just clean that one up and get it ready and then uh, just move its cork bark out of this one into that one real quick And then move it in there So yeah, okay, so there's that um, Let me get the others. There's two other quick updates and then uh, that'll be it Okay, so here's the uh, Neoholotheli Inse um, communal uh, like I said the other day, all four of them fed, um, which kind of surprises me that today I found that a molt. Um, there's, you can see one, one spider's right 
here. There's one right there. There's one in here, and then the other one's actually I think it's back here. The mold was back here, so I'm assuming it's spider that was that's in there is the one that molted, but I I can't be sure. So they're doing okay up to this point, which is good news. Um, and we have a little bit of sad news, uh, but this was expected too. So uh, we'll get on with that next. Okay, so this is the male avicularia, avicularia morph type 6, uh, what we used to know as the species Metallica. Um, you can see in there is uh, one of the praying mantises. The, uh, yeah, the uh, yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying. The Asian giant mantises. Uh, this one had molted bad, the, the last molt, and it its abdomen's been twisted and it's been kind of funky. When it eats, it only eats a little bit. Well, this this morning I saw it acting really, really strange, and I'd known for the last few days that it was about the last week or so. I knew it was no, yeah, noon. Knew it was on its way out. Let's put it that way. It, it was it was nearing in on um, dying. Well, this morning um, I looked over there. I was looking at the the one female and uh, and her wings are all out and I, I'm not really quite sure what's going on with her either but the this one here um, it, it fell this morning so and I kind of looked at his legs were moving and I was like oh man you know I, I kind of knew it was happening so um, about an hour and a half ago I checked on it and it was it was dead so I decided to feed it to one of the avics now uh, some people don't like this you know I, I mean i don't have an issue like if my spider is dying and i know that it's dying from old age or it's a mature male uh, feeding it off to another one um, if i don't know what caused the death of something then i generally won't but uh, like i said i knew this one it it tried to eat a, a super worm the other day um i crushed the head of the super worm and was feeding it to it and it ate like half of it and then all of a sudden it was just like its its claws were hanging way down and the, the worm was in it and it was just partially eaten and then the next day I looked down the worms on the ground and the mantis is kind of acting odd uh, odder than it was you know the week prior so I figured instead of wasting it we'd give you know uh, ghost here a a decent sized meal and then the praying mantis won't go to waste so uh, those are those are the few updates that's happened this last week I haven't really videotaped anything i haven't uh i haven't really fed much of anything this last week um i just fed the three avicularia species uh slings only one of them right now has has taken the mealworm that's in there but uh yeah i'm expecting molts from a few spiders well uh, the obt being one of them chaos uh and i'm gonna put her in something deeper uh, just, I really want to put her in something deeper. So, uh, the other OBT is going to be going away. Uh, maybe next week, depending on the weather. And um, along with the mature male pumpkin patch. So, okay, well, those are the few little tiny updates anyway. And uh, are you looking forward to more videos soon? Um, Yeah, maybe tomorrow or the next day we'll get some feeding videos in. Um, definitely tomorrow we'll get some sling feedings, uh, the ones I didn't feed the other day, and then a few small juveniles. All right, well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys soon. So we found one more molt. Um, I'm doing checks up and uh, checkups, yeah, checks up, checkups. Um, and the Ornithoctonae species Laos, molten. There's the molt, still tiny. So... I'm not even going to bother trying to sex the molt. It's not even worth it. But that's that deer. And I'm still waiting on the two Davis Penalorises. They have they just don't want to molt. I'm not sure what's uh, holding them up. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing some minor checkups here and making sure everybody's okay. Um, I do want to rehouse the uh, Pteranopoma sazame sling. Not today, but uh, soon. Looking at it, I just I just need something different. And we may put that in a uh, 
softball container. And I'm going to spray down the uh, two H gigases, get the uh, lower levels of the substrate damp for them. There's the Encyclopedia Olivaceae. I'm back in the uh, bark tube again. So, all right. Well, that's it. Thanks. Bye.